Previously, Tatsuya and his sister joined Magic First High School. Everyone considered him weak for being a second course student. However, despite everything, he managed to display his unique skills proving that he is stronger than everyone thinks. To make sure his sister is safe, he decided to destroy Japan's Blanche Branch, an international anti-magic terrorist organization. Later, after proving his engineering skills he was selected to join the nine school competition team. However, such competition ruins Tatsuya's peaceful days as it gets targeted by another international organization, the No-Head Dragons. Masaki and George meet Tatsuya and his sister before their match. George admits that Tatsuya is the most talented engineer to ever participate in this competition. Tatsuya doesn't believe them and Masaki tells him that he will defeat the contestants which Tatsuya manages, but Tatsuya is unfazed. Mayumi informs the three newcomer girls that they don't have to compete against each other in Pillar Break. They can share the victory, however, Shizuku wants to fight Miyuki, which she accepts. Shizuku is defeated and she cries, confessing that her powers are nothing compared to Miyuki's. Tatsuya thinks of Masaki and George's amazing feats and deduces Morisaki is going to lose, as Masaki's power is beyond any first-year students of his school. Morisaki and his team are attacked with a battering ram, preventing them from competing. First High will have to give up the match. Mayumi believes someone wants to sabotage their school. Tatsuya tells her about the no-head dragon members he defeated last night. First High wins another Mirage Bat event, but cannot win unless they participate in the Monolith Code event. Azusa starts to think Tataya is Taurus Silver due to his brilliant inventions. Mayumi asks that Tatsuya participate in the event, although he rejects it at first. He is convinced by Juamanji, and he agrees to participate. Tatsuya is asked to pick his other two teammates and he picks Mikahiko and Leo because he knows their abilities and has seen them train. Leo and Mikahiko also agree to participate, and Tatsuya tells them the rules of the event. Tatsuya formulates a brilliant strategy. He asks Leo to use his new weapon integrated CAD that can detach, because the competition doesn't allow direct physical attacks. The event begins and the team start to battle. Everyone is surprised to see Tatsuya using the strongest counter magic called Gram Demolition. They defeat 4th High, while George analyzes Tatsuya's moves. George concludes that although Tatsuya has one of the best fighting skills, however, his magic skills are weak and they only have to watch out for his Gram Demolition spell. George believes that their victory is inevitable. 1st High School also defeats 2nd High School. Tatsuya watches 3rd High School battle against 8th High School and deduces its strategy. 1st High defeats 9th High and prepares to face Masaki and George. Erika motivates Mikahiko, telling him he is better than he was and that he does not have to be afraid anymore. Tatsuya tasks Haruka with finding the location of the no-head dragon just in case something happens. George and Masaki believe Tatsuya cannot win because of the battle terrain and has no other ability besides Gram Demolition. On the eighth day of the competition, Tatsuya presents Leo and Mikahiko each with a mantle, which have magical circles woven into them to make it easier to cast magic spells. Tatsuya reveals that the only flaw in George's technique is that he is unable to attack unless he sees his opponent. Although the location of the battle does not favor Tatsuya's fighting style, he comes up with a plan that will cost third high the fight by applying Masaki's obsession with him. Tatsuya confesses that defeating Masaki and George will be difficult, but Miyuki tells him he cannot lose. Although Masaki and George spot the robe, they believe it is not enough to stop them and are sure victory is theirs. The head of the ten families, Kyudu decides to watch the fight between first high school and third high school, stating he is interested in Tatsuya. The battle begins, and Masaki and Tatsuya battle each other, while George deduces that Tatsuya changed his activation sequence. George joins in on the attack but is stopped by Mikahiko. Masaki launches a lethal attack on Tatsuya, breaking the rules and causing the latter to suffer multiple injuries, broken bones, and internal bleeding, forcing him to use his hidden special magic on himself, Regrowth, a magic that enables him to turn his body state 24 hours back in time, some sort of healing. Suddenly, he quickly gets up and knocks Masaki down. Mayumi wonders how Tatsuya is still alive after taking such an attack. Jumanji reminds her that Tatsuya practices ancient martial arts and body fortification. The Major notices that Tatsuya was also using the flash cast technique, a technique that reads the activation sequence from memory, thereby making the time taken to activate his magic non-existent. While Tatsuya is still feeling the effect of Masaki's attack, Mikahiko manages to defeat George. Leo defeats the third member of Third High and they win the event, although Tatsuya has a ruptured eardrum. First High is about to win the competition and the no-head dragon becomes desperate and results to violence, not caring who lives or dies. Tatsuya suspects the no-head dragon will make a move and vows to protect Miyuki. When a Mirage Bad event begins, Mizuki decides to use her visual powers, trying to detect any use of external magic. 
a first high representative, Hurakawa, is incapacitated when her CAD fails to activate, but Mizuki spots spirits bursting from Hurawaka's CAD and informs Tatsuya. Tatsuya takes Miyuki's CAD for testing to discover that one of the competition's employees has been tampering the CAD. He attacks him and tries to interrogate him, but he is interrupted by Kyudo. Tatsuya explains the situation and Kyudo reassures him that he will handle it. He asks to see Tatsuya after the competition. Miyuki uses the flying cat, surprising everyone and claiming victory. The no-head dragon decides to start killing spectators to get the competition cancelled, but their plan is thwarted by the military's special forces. The Mirage Bat final begins, and all the participants are using the flying cat. However, the magic sequence is too tiresome on them, giving Miyuki an easy win. The students celebrate their victory despite having one event left. Tatsuya discovers the location of the no-head dragon. Kyudu meets with the major and requests that Tatsuya join him, as he trained Tatsuya's mother and aunt. Kyudu believes the Yatsuba clan is too powerful and they have the power to reign above the ten master clans. Kyudu believes Tatsuya and Masaki are at similar levels of power and they're Japan's future. However, Kazama explains that, surprisingly, the Yatsubas have no interest in Tatsuya. He also tells Kyudu, that his assumption is wrong, saying Tatsuya is levels ahead of Masaki. In his perspective, Masaki equals a tank. However, Tatsuya is like a nuclear weapon, who has several safety locks to seal his real power. Tatsuya arrives at the dragon's location and kills them all except Douglas Wong as payback for threatening his sister's safety. He interrogates Wong and finds out that Sun Gongaming is the leader of the no-head dragon. He proceeds to kill Wong. The next day, Tatsuya meets with the Major, who tells him that the No-Head Dragon is a supplier of sorcery boosters. The Major explains that boosters are illegal as they are made with the cerebrum of a magician. Elsewhere, Jiumanji wins his match. After the battle, Mayumi informs Jiumanji that the leaders of the Ten Master Clans are worried after witnessing Tatsuya's match and want Jiumanji to use his full power in the final. He single-handedly wins the final and first high as crown champion, as the competition comes to an end. Tatsuya asks Hanoka to dance with him at the closing ceremony, while Miyuki dances with Masaki. Jumanji asks Tatsuya to join the Ten Master Clans by getting married to Mayumi, as the clans are worried because Tatsuya defeated Masaki, the next leader of the clans. Two police officers try to foil the plans of the crime syndicate but are unsuccessful. Two crime bosses, Chen Ziangshan and Lu Gong who are welcomed into the city by a man named Ju. New students council members are elected and Miyuki is made the vice president. Tatsuya is trying to uncover the mystery behind the Philosopher's Stone, as it can store magic sequences. Tatsuya is asked to participate in the upcoming thesis competition, a competition for high school students to announce their innovations and takes place in Yokohama. Tatsuya and Miyuki meet their stepmother, Sayuri at their house and she instructs Tatsuya to drop out and work for her, but he declines as he is supposed to protect Miyuki. Sayuri wants him to analyze a sample of the Nine no Magatama relic that she got from the defense forces and duplicate it. Tatsuya wonders why defense forces would want to replicate this relic, even though it is almost impossible. Sayuri confesses that the Magatama can store magic sequences. She leaves in anger after Tatsuya refuses to come back to the headquarters, and he follows her. Sayuri is attacked by men who want to steal the relic, but Tatsuya rescues her. He is shot in the process, however, he manages to use regrowth and get the upper hand. Tatsuya informs the Major, who asks him who can snipe from a thousand meters at night using only an optical scope. Tatsuya wants to try and replicate the relic. The Great Asian Alliance, a criminal organization infiltrates the Magic Association in Yokohama and plans to steal the relic. Tatsuya tries to gather materials for the thesis competition. Mayumi informs him that this thesis can bring about a change in the country, and magicians will no longer be seen as weapons. Tatsuya learns new information about the new crime organization in the city from Haruka. She tells him that there have been illegal entries into the country in Yokohama, and Yakasuka. Tatsuya believes it is not a coincidence and thinks it is related to the thesis competition. Tatsuya and his friends notice they are being watched and confront the spy. However, Tatsuya lets the spy escape. The Asian Alliance continues to keep an eye on Tatsuya and his friends, but they quickly notice and Mikihiko claims the spies are not from the country. The two policemen resume their investigation and meet with military personnel. Erika and Leo corner one of the spies and interrogate him. The spy's name is Jaira Marshall, an illegal immigrant. He explains that his job is to prevent the theft of magic technologies by magic high students and make sure they don't get to the east. Gyro escapes after threatening Erika with a gun. Liu Gonghu, who works for the Asian Alliance, kills Gyro while he escapes. The thesis magic team tests their project and acknowledges that the first stage is complete. 
Mibu notices a first-year girl holding a wireless password cracker. The girl runs, and Mibu gives chase. Mibu, Erika, and Kirahara catch up to her and find out that she is the spy. They also find out that the girl's name is Hurakawa Chayaka. Mibu tries to talk her out of it, but Chayaka attacks them with tear gas, but Leo knocks her out. A member of the disciplinary committee named Sekimoto seems to be interested in the thesis project, prompting suspicion. Chayaka is interrogated by Chiyoda, a member of the committee. Chayaka is the sister of Hurakawa and she became a spy out of spite for Tatsuya, as she believes he is responsible for Hurakawa's injury. Erika decides to train Leo on how to kill as she believes they will encounter more enemies like Jiro. Zhao reports to Chen that Chayaka has been caught, while Erika trains Leo. Jumanji is the new general commander of the security forces and puts them through rigorous training. He asks Mikahiko to help train the security forces. Tatsuya is warned by his sensei about keeping the relic and tells him to return it as soon as he can. Tatsuya and Miyuki are being tailed by the Asian Alliance. He arrives at FLT and they are being hacked by the Alliance. Tatsuya tries to perform some debugging at the robotics club, but he is attacked with sleeping gas. However, Pixie, a home automation robot, created by the robotics club, saves him. Sekimoto tries to steal information from the school, but he is caught by Tatsuya and Chiyoda. Neri meets with Erika's elder brother, Chiba Neitsugu, although they are interrupted when the riot alarm goes off, prompting them to respond. Chiba foils Gonghu's attempt to kill Chayaki. Chiba attacks Gonghu and injures him. However, he manages to escape. Tatsuya reports the robbery attempt to his teammate in the military and she decides to investigate. He requests to visit Sekimoto at the detention center, but the student council rejects him. Mary offers to take him as she and Mayumi are planning to visit Sekimoto too. Meanwhile, Zhao visits Chayaki and erases her memory about the alliance. While Mary interrogates Sekimoto, the detention center is attacked by Lu Gonghu, who wants to kill Sekimoto. Mary asks Tatsuya to guard Mayumi while she attacks Gonghu. Gonghu tricks her and goes after Mayumi, but Tatsuya injures him. Mary incapacitates him and he is taken into custody. Fujibe Ashi tells Tatsuya that all the Asian Alliance members in the city have been arrested, but their leader, Chen escaped. Zhu meets with Chen in Yokohama and Chen begs him to free Lu Gonghu. Zhu accepts, but only under the condition that Chinatown is kept safe during all their operations. Tatsuya and his friends prepare for the thesis competition, and he states that the competition is always attacked every year. He asks his friends to be back up in case something goes wrong. Fuji informs Tatsuya that the mobile suit is ready and tells him to be prepared for an attack. Tatsuya and Miyuki meet Masaki, who is part of the competition's security unit. Fuji threatens Haruka and warns her about investigating Tatsuya. Fuji finds out Gonghu has been rescued. Jumanji is informed that Sekimoto was under mind control and asks all the security forces to put on their bulletproof jackets and be on alert. First High's presentation is a success. George praises Tatsuya for his contribution to the thesis project, but insists they are not going to lose. The thesis convention is attacked before Third High's presentation. A bomb vehicle crashes into the control building of the convention and the enemy's underground ship keeps firing rockets at them. The students are attacked by the terrorists, but Tatsuya dismembers one of them and the students take the rest out. George confronts Tatsuya for using the attack, Molecular Divider. The Molecular Divider is a secret technique and George wonders how Tatsuya can use it, but Tatsuya ignores him. Hazusa calms everyone using her magic and Mayumi tells everyone to get to safety. Tatsuya and his friends take down the terrorists, and they head to the VIP conference room led by Shizuku. They head to the demonstration room to erase the data from their presentation and meet Mayumi and Jumanji, already erasing the data. Tatsuya believes the students that escape through the underground passage will be attacked. Jumanji sends Hattori and Sawaki after them. Tatsuya puts an end to another bomb vehicle and the military defense forces arrive. Tatsuya has all the information restrictions on him lifted and the group finds out about his position as a special lieutenant of the military. The major mobilizes Tatsuya and asks that the group keep Tatsuya's secret. Miyuki kisses Tatsuya on his head, releasing the seal placed on his powers. Masaki viciously murders the terrorists while trying to escape with his friends. Jumanji asks Fuji for permission to head to Magic Association. Kento branch to defend it, as it is his duty as the Jumanji's temporary head. Shizuku and Mayumi call on their fathers to send helicopters to rescue the students. Tatsuya activates his modified flight suit and begins to take down the enemy's drones. He is instructed to join Yanaga's forces. Masaki does not join the evacuation bus and heads to the Magic Association, Kento branch to fight. While the group waits for the helicopters, they are attacked by weaponized machines. Tatsuya joins up with Yanagi and learns the identity of the enemy, the Great Asian Alliance. The rescue choppers arrive and transport the students to safety. The terrorists continue to cause destruction, but Masaki and Jumanji force them to retreat. While Kirahara and the rest of the group try to escape, 
They are ambushed and Kirahara's leg gets blown to shreds and Kei is shot. Miyuki arrives and incapacitates the enemy. Miyuki calls Tetsuya, who uses regrowth on Kirahara and Kei. He commends Miyuki and flies away. The battle rages on, and Tetsuya and his forces emerge victorious. The enemy soldiers call Tetsuya Mahisfara, the demon from Okinawa. Jumanji and members of the Magic Association force the enemies to retreat. Elsewhere, in Chinatown, Masaki meets Xiao, who hands over the terrorists that escaped. On the rescue helicopter, Kirahara and the rest could not believe how Tatsuya could heal them. They ask Miyuki how he does it, and she explains that Tatsuya uses regrowth that restores a person to his pre-injury state if it happens in less than 24 hours. This regrowth technique is the reason why Tatsuya is bad at magic. Also, Tatsuya experiences in a condensed form 150 times the pain of the injured, being the only mage in the world to be able to use this ability. Lu Gong who attacks the magic association, but he is defeated by joint efforts. The terrorists begin to retreat, but Tatsuya destroys the ship and annihilates all the enemy's forces using material burst. Tatsuya destroys the terrorists' enemy fleet, ending the war. The incident is called the Scorched Halloween, a day that reminds the world just how powerful magic is. Miyuki reunites with Tatsuya, and Yatsuba Maya wants the siblings to return home. This is all for this anime. Give the video a like, and I will see you in the next minutes.